Congratulations on choosing to create your very own online store with WebStarts. In this short getting started video tutorial, I'll walk you through the most important things you need to know to create your very own online store. When you first log in, you're in the dashboard view. From the dashboard view, you can edit the pages of your website by clicking edit site. That will load the WebStarts page editor. WebStarts pages are made up of elements. Each element is a text box, an image, or anything else that you can drag and drop wherever you would like it to appear on the page. Each page is divided into three sections. The top section is called the header, the middle section is called the body, while the bottom is called the footer. Elements that are dragged to the header and footer appear in the same location on each page, for example the navigation menu. This gives your site consistency and makes it easy for the people who are visiting to navigate it. To create a new page, all you need to do is click on Create a New Page. To navigate to another page that you would like to edit, just choose it from the drop-down menu. To activate your store, navigate back to the dashboard. From the dashboard, scroll down and click on the Store panel. This will open up the Manage Store view. In the Manage Store view, you can create products, categories, view orders, view reports, create coupons, and view customer information and settings. Under the Settings tab, be sure to give your store a name and an email address where you'll be doing your store correspondence. You can also choose to enter a phone number and upload a logo if you wish. Scrolling down the page is where you'll find your payment methods. By default, WebStarts uses WePay to accept Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. Once you create your store, you're all ready to take payments. WePay will send you an email asking you to confirm your account and provide your banking details so they know where to send your deposits. If you'd like to accept PayPal, be sure to check the Accept PayPal and enter your PayPal email address. If you would like to allow comments at checkout, you can check that box as well. And if you want your customers to be able to return to your website and log in to use a saved credit card and shipping information, be sure to check Allow Customer Login at checkout. Click Add Tax Settings to create a new tax setting. You can create tax settings by both state or country. You can select from several different shipping methods. UPS automatically calculates a shipping estimate based on weight and originating zip code. Be sure to enter an accurate zip code and accurate weight for each of the products that you wish to ship when calculating based on UPS. You can also create a variety of custom shipping options like ship by weight, price, quantity, you can also ship by a flat rate or free shipping. When you select a custom shipping option, you need to give the shipping option a name and then create your shipping rules. Here you can see that you can add a range. For example, you can charge different prices depending on the weight of the order or the price of the order. You can add additional shipping options by clicking add another shipping service. When you're ready, be sure to click update. You can test out your store by putting it in test mode. Just remember to toggle back to live mode when you're ready to begin accepting real transactions. Click on products to create your first product. You can import a CSV or Excel spreadsheet of your products, or you can choose to create your products one at a time by clicking add new product. Give your product a title, description, and then upload whatever images of your product you'd like to use. You can then assign your product a price and choose whether or not to collect tax on a specific product. Notice here you can also select a category for your product or create a new category. You can choose whether or not to collect shipping and if you do select shipping you can enter the weight and the size of the package that's likely to ship. Here you can choose to hide your product from a store catalog that's perfect if you want to charge a different price for a special item. You also have the option to set up variants. This is used to set size, color, and material and other variants of a specific product. You can also choose to enable inventory management and display the stock on hand. And if you're selling digital items, be sure to enable digital delivery where you can provide a link to download your digital item along with some instructions that will appear after somebody completes their purchase. When you're finished, click Create and your product is created. Once you've created your products, you can change the look and feel on the pages where they're displayed. 
Click Edit Side to go back to the Page Editor, and then choose a Store Page from the drop-down menu. In this case, choose Store. Here you can see your products and how they're displayed on the page. You can select the Store widget and click the Settings icon in order to do things like change the number of columns and the number of rows, select from Fit or Crop on Image Scaling, or change the aspect ratio that the images are displayed. You can also choose whether to enable categories, product search, and sorting options. When you're finished, click Save, and those changes are published to your live website. To test your first transaction, return to the Manage Store view, go to Settings, and be sure to put your account into test mode. Again, make sure you switch it back to live mode before you start shipping real products. Otherwise, you won't receive the funds for those products. Mine's into test mode. Now I'm going to go to my live site. I'm going to click on a product that I want to buy and add it to my cart. Finally, I'm going to check out. Now here's where the logo that I uploaded under store settings and the store name will be displayed. Notice my customers also have the option to log in if they're a returning customer and then enter their billing details and then ultimately check out. To complete a test transaction, just go ahead and fill this information out. Click continue. Then enter in any credit card number that you want because we're in test mode. Place your order and that's what your customer experience will be. A confirmation page and they'll also receive a receipt confirming their purchase They'll be able to go to continue their shopping and if they're logged in they'll be able to view their orders. On the back end you'll receive a notification. Navigating back to the dashboard, notice one new notification, click on the notification and it will tell you that you have a new order and there you will see the order information. You also get an email sent to you that says something like this, hooray you just got a new order and you'll be able to click on that button to view your order as well. Once you've upgraded your WebStarts account, you'll be able to add tracking information for the orders placed on your website and those will be emailed to your customers. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free online store.